T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now we're going to be looking at Doctor Strange from Marvel Legends series. Spider-Man No Way Home. It's part of the Armadillo Build-A-Figure Wave. Here is his artwork right there. Here's the stuff right there. Here is this bio. Right here in English at least. Doctor Strange comes with quite a few accessories. No, he does not come with this stand. I got that from a thousand toys figure. Uh, it's just there for effect. He has two pairs of like grabbing hands, mystical effect hands that actually are articulated. Here are the details on that one. This one is slightly smaller, which is cool. You get the eye of Agamotto. There is no time stone in there, as you know. And you get the cape, the flying cape. There's all those details in it. And these on the back. So yeah, and under here you get the peg hole for his back. And let's look at Doctor Strange himself. This likeness is a major upgrade from the last one I purchased. That was specifically for his movie. The photo real tech is getting very good. Let me take the autofocus off. Let me move this stuff out. When I have other things in a line of sight, the, the autofocus just extremely tries to look at that stuff. But he has a bunch of textures and details and whatnot. And even though this part of his robe, well, the robe does not restrict him a ton. I mean, it, it does restrict, but he can still get le his legs out and all that. So here are his boots. They have buckles, no laces. Yeah. Can't really... I don't feel like ripping that to give you a better look at the back of his pants and whatnot. But let's let you see his articulation. The head is on the double ball post. So he can look up. But not a ton. He can look down. And he can tilt his head. Side to side and whatnot. Of course rotate. The base of the neck. Is stationary. The arms can go out to the side that much. Rotate. They have to. Go out to the side due to the sculpting right here. This is not soft. There is bicep swivel. He has. Pinless double elbows. As you can see, the wrist on all the hands go in and out like that and rotate. He has a ball going up into his body so he can lean back, lean forward, lean to the side, and rotate. So, when he's in the air, you can kind of get into somewhat dynamic. Dragon Ball Z type poses like you would like now you see how wide I can get his legs out like that it might be more if this wasn't in the way if you twist it because the waist is actually I'm just realizing that this brown part is a separate piece from this I didn't even know that but you should be able to twist his butt a little bit so you can get whichever leg out that you want to get out the front. But you have to work with it. But he does have thigh rotation. He does have double jointed knees that are pinned, but they come up that much. You get boot rotation. The ankles go all the way back, come forward a bit, and you get ankle pivot. And there are peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Naturally, you can just put this cloak on him with a cape. And he looks like this. 
Let's see, he can get his arms all the way out to the side on that side. But here, you would stop about here before you start hitting that. When you put it out to the side, it's still on him, but now it's like bunched up. Let's see. I can kind of get them more centered. So that's not too bad if you want both of his arms out. And naturally, the hands just come out. Let's put the eye on him. I don't know why I didn't do that a long time ago. Make that underneath for the cape. So there's that look. And of course, we can put these on. You can have him floating and blocking attacks and whatnot while he's floating. Yeah, I really like being able to do stuff like this. Now, since he's a character that's not like Spider-Man or whatnot, he's always like flying and putting his, most of his attacks are with his hands. Like a pose like this is good enough for me. And I, I have fun being able to just do stuff like this with a character like this. Now, less accessory for me to show off are these regular grasping hands now they didn't give him anything to grasp per se besides maybe the eye maybe he can be holding it like this these hands are gummy hold on I'm, I'm not gonna kill y'all yeah I wanted to make this a one take video but I, I don't like wasting time with trying to figure stuff out or get stuff situated. But here he is holding that. Or maybe Disney cash grabbingly put him in Fortnite and he needs hands to do stuff like this because his you don't want to use his cape glider. Here's how tall he is next to T and Tina from Fortnite Victory Royale series and the Alley Viper from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Retro Peter Parker and Ben Riley. And finally, my Mezco Far From Home Spider-Man right there. End of the day, this is a great figure with great accessories. The only thing holding it back is the fact that it's a retail figure and not an import. It'll be nice if we could add fabric goods right here on the bottom part of his tunic, his skirt right there. And if this was some type of bendy wire cape, that he would be absolutely perfect. And I wouldn't have any problems as far as his articulation in the legs and whatnot. I mean, he can still stand up, but he could get a little bit more dynamic if he wasn't restricted by this and if the cape wasn't fixed in a pose. But going in, you know that's what you're going to be getting because this is a $20, $22 Hasbro figure. So why am I sitting here complaining? The accessories that it comes with is good. The likeness is good. And the articulation that he does have is good. So, yeah. It, it's worth it to me. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T Man 970, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those in videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click the channel.